Hey every pony, welcome back to Pony Toys, and we're taking a look at the last of the bigger sets you can buy for the Slumber Party themed Equestria Girls minis. This one is obviously Rarity, and her theme is the beauty set, because of course it is. What else would you expect from her? Although I think the surprising part is she comes with part of the bathroom. <laughs> it amuses me. Anyway, let's take a look at Rarity herself. I think out of uh, all the new Slumber Party sets, she actually has the most extensive hair re-sculpt. Because if you've noticed, she has these curlers in there with her little hearts on them. But it goes all the way to the back, the front, and yeah, I think they've done pretty much all new hair sculpt for her. If we compare it to the original Rarity, I think maybe this part here is the same part. And this ear. So I think they have a head part. And then they slap over the... or Yeah, they have a head and they slap the hair over it. That would be explaining why she has the ear in the same position. Also, like Applejack, you notice they're again looking off in other directions. But the opposite of the original figure. So again, she just doesn't want to look at camera. Which is odd for Rarity. Put her back. So, let's take a closer look at this figure. She comes in her... Uh, nighty? Oh no, it's what she had in the quest, the second Equestria Girls movie. I don't know if this classifies as one, but it's definitely a night gown, I would say. And like most of them, this part here can is flexible plastic and can be removed if you want, and pops off very easily when you're messing around with these things. Or maybe that's just me. Uh, she has little frills on her arm, and her you know robe has this frill here. Unfortunately, this is where we start running into problems, because her arms can only go that far forward, and that is it. If they go further, they start going on an angle. They can't just go forward straight, so that's annoying. And she has the bend and the swivel here. Again, head is a nice rotation. It can go all the way around like she's possessed. Nice little bob going up and down. And she has, like... I believe this version actually has lipstick. Or at least an open mouth. More than this version. Which... I don't know. It seems weird if she'd put on lipstick. But it seems like something Rarity would do. But I'm pretty sure it's just an open mouth. Either way. It's a nice little splash of color against all the white. Her, I noticed her eyebrows here are... Actually both... Straight. And le level. The... Instead of the half-cocked one the original Rarity had. So I guess she's not surprised or bemused by something. Uh, same knee joint. Again, I can't call this a boot cut since it's just part of her leg. Which I believe she's the one exposing the most leg. Again, it's Rarity. I will say this, I know she's the only one that has itty bitty little toes there. Eh, look at them, look how cute they are. And the diamond right there for Cutie Mark, and this fluff piece that's not fluffy, but is molded very, very well. Again, I, I can commend the mold on these things. I cannot say enough good things. They took a lot of time to actually sculpt details and paint details on here. It's more than I ever really thought was going to happen with these figures. So now that we've got Rarity out of the way, let's see what she comes with. Uh, if she'll stand, damn your hair. The main thing you'll see is she comes with Opal, who just looks so thrilled to be here. And much like Winona, there's no head turn at all. It's just one solid, really, one solid piece of plastic, which looks good. I kind of wish they'd just do something. Now I get into them falling down. <laughs> okay. Stand. Be cooperative. There we go. Anyway, and she also comes with this little carrying case to hold some things in. Again, it's, uh, there's no hinge, it's just plastic, so be careful with it. It does hold a few nice things and has some good sculpting on it. She actually does have her cutie mark sculpted on it right there, if you can see. Nice handle. The latch works amazingly well. Now, the sink part of the bathroom set. 
Yeah. Oh, no. I'm giving away secrets because there you go. I, this big mirror piece of uh, tape there, which I honestly was not expecting to see. It's really good that they have it's this piece. And it, as you can see, it works very well. And it's very reflective. And she comes with a hair dryer there and a curling iron, which is how she gets these things. And she can hold them very well. Put the curling iron in there, and oh, she's doing her hair for someone. Whoever that someone is can be up to you. I think you know who my choice would be. And also, I see Deadpool's butt, so let's move that around. The legs. Why? Okay, sure. Why not? So, the sink. Or, the, yeah, the sink and the setting. The sink is detachable, which I found out by pure chance when it fell out of the package. And there's just this little peg hole that fits in there. I think, if you want, it could actually hold water. I have not done that, but it can definitely hold something. It's got the two little shelves up here for, I like to put the, well, hair dryer in there, but you can add some things. A little shelving unit down here, some nice tile work, sculpting here and there. It's very flat on the back, so I would not look at it from the back. The nice little, like, array of lights here that's colored all yellow. It'd be nice if they would color the individual lights and make this maybe the back purple to match the rest, and this would be yellow lights, but eh, I can see why they wouldn't go that far. It still looks very nice. So, then we get into the big stuff. Her little cabinet here, which has all these little things on them, which are all separate pieces. Her little mirror compact kit, which again closes, and has pony ears, because there's her ponies! Look! We know they're ponies! Gotta have ears so people won't know. Also her cutie mark, which is hard to distinguish because of all the black. Uh, she has these little powder kits, I believe they are. And it does not close. I assumed this would close, and I was wondering why does this only have one, but no. It's just this piece. Uh, spray bottle for, I guess, misting her hair as she does it. Uh, I must leave this as a perfume bottle, because Rarity would have all sorts of perfumes, I'm sure. And these three bottles of stuff. I don't know. I don't know enough about beauty products to know what these could even be. Shampoo, conditioner, other things. But you can put them up here, too, if you want. And the shelf is just a big gray piece of plastic. There's not much detail other than the hearts here, but it's a sturdy one. And I just realized I left a rubber band on it. Wow. I'm a, I'm observant. Cause it looks like this bottom shelf can be removable. Well, let's see. Yep. It sure can be moved up and down. Huh. I'm learning stuff on camera. Isn't that amazing? So... Snap that back down into place, and you can have all of your goods and services held there. And that's about it for this set. There's a lot of pieces to it, a lot of little, a lot of tiny pieces. So you're gonna want to be careful not to lose those when you're moving them around, because they can fall off very, very easily, as easily as Rarity wants to fall over, because she she's a diva and doesn't want to cooperate. So I'm just going to put her back there. Alright, fine, whatever. You know what? I'm done. Next time, we're going to look at Twilight. See ya.